Dear Chairperson, dear uh, colleagues, I'd like to show the presentation uh, entitled uh, Pelvic Evisceration in Case of a Locally Advanced Cervical Cancer. Epidemiology of cervical cancer is uh, unfavorable. More than 500,000 uh, patients are diagnosed at different stages of the disease. And in uh, the half of the cases, it's uh, the reason for death. 40% of patients, uh, they are referred to the specialized establishment at the stage of three or four. It's important to know that up to 40% of patients after radical treatment, they have the local relapses of the disease. Survival rate of these patients are not high. The main methods of treatment of locally advanced survival cancer is a chemo plus the radiation therapy. Uh, during uh, two years, uh, relapses usually happen. And the risk of relapses is correlated with the stage of the disease in 1B, 10% up to 74% in 4 stage. A considerable restriction of the radiation therapy is a purulous, uh, purulent and necrotic complication. As to the rare metastasis of the squamous carcinomas, in uh, made uh, surgeons to develop ultra-radical operations like a pelvic evisceration. Evisceration of the pelvis for the first time uh, was done by Alexander Brunswick from New York, and he published uh, his data in, in uh, 1948 in the journal Cancer. The operation was Palliative one, original method included extrafacial removal and block of the uterus, the bladder, and the rectum, and also uh, uh, making of the colostoma. The variants of the pelvic eviscerations may be uh, grouped, uh, in, divided in three groups. A classification by Alexandra Bramschik. Anterior evisceration include uh, removal of the bladder, ureter, and the vagina. Posterior evisceration, uh, the removal of the segment of the uh, uh, colon and uh, vagina. And t t total evisceration, uh, their bladder, their vagina, the rectum, the ureter are removed. There may be three types of surgical intervention as to uh, the pelvis uh, bottom, supralevators, infralevators, and infralevators plus valvectomy extended. If R0 resection happened, uh, their uh, survival rate uh, are not better. It was demonstrated by Mark Green, who published his data with courses in 1969. Six. There is no correlation between the type of evisceration with the overall survival if uh, we perform R0 resection. During the long-term invasion, in the anatomical structures into the lateral wall of the pelvis was a counterindication or because it was difficult to define the resection margin. Then it was demonstrated that in 2012, it was Herkel and quarters. They demonstrated that it's possible to extend the lateral resection margins uh, by uh, resection of the let of the uh, muscles of the pelvis by resection of the internal 
obturators, pubic and C uh, corpuses parts. The reconstruction is very important in case of evisceration. The choice depends on the anatomy of the patient, the volume of the extension of the previous radiation therapy, and preferences of the surgeon. The methods of ureter cutaneous tomy is quite old methods, but it can result in the infection in the uh, 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 in the ureter, in the bladder and uterus. We use percutaneous nephrostomy under the control of the ultrasound. The methods of the heterotopic uh, pouch Mostly, we use modification Miami Pouch 2, Mines Pouch 2. Formation of the orthotopic uh, bladder from the tubularized loop of the iliac bowel, according to Studer. It's a quite rare technique because after this technique, there may be the increase in the relapses or progression of the tumor. Mostly, modification by breaker is used when both uterus, uh, they, um, they uh, form anastomosis with the distal fragment of the iliac bowel. According to their results of the pelvic eviscerations, dated 1960, 1919. There, uh, there is the decrease in mortality rate and complications from up to 27%. Since 2007 up to 2020, in the oncological center, we operated 150 patients with the locally advanced uh, cervical cancer. Uh, evisceration of uh, minor pelvis was used. Uh, their indications were counterindications for chemo and radiation therapy. The criteria of operation is now are now uh, reconsidered. All the patients uh, they were examined CT. Uh, their lungs, uh, the minor pelvis, uh, the abdomen to assess uh, the distant metastasis and, and invasion of the to the walls. Uh, the, it used to be that uh, the, the invasion of the lateral walls uh, uh, used to be a counter indications, but now it's not the case. We had a small group of patients. Uh, where evisceration of the pelvis were done as a uh, life-saving operations. It's patients with the tumor necrosis, with the fistulas, with bleeding, uh, when it was not possible to embolize the vessels. The slide shows uh, the spread of patients with the locally advanced uh, cervical cancer according to the stages. To be patients with the relapses of tumor after combined treatment, 32 patients, we operated 3B stage, 9 primary patients, and 57 with the tumor relapses after a combined uh, chemo and radiation therapy. Patients of the 4A stage, primary 47, and 5 patients with the continuing uh, growth of tumor after several cycles of chemotherapy. 56% of primary patients so with the 4 8 stage out of 56 operations 47 were operation operated they had hydro uterinephrine necrosis nephrosis uh, fistulas uh, patients uh, with hydro uterinephrosis uh, we do 
nefrostoma, nefrostomy uh, percutaneous nephrostoma was performed. Patients with relapses, 94 patients, 89 of them, 2B, 3B stage. They had hydroureter nephrosis or with nephrostomia and fistulas. Five patients with 4A stage or with blood of the vaginal fistula. Uh, this slide shows the number of radical and palliative operations performed to prim primary patients and relapse patients after combined treatment. All in all, we made 107 radical and 43 palliative operations. In the group of palliative patients, they were with R1, R2 resections and uh, patients with the distant metastasis. Distribution of patients uh, of uh, locally advanced uh, cervical cancer, 22 minimal and 77 maximum age. In our hospital, we perform 59 anterior investigation, 14 posterior investigation to be the preservation of the levators, and 77 total, 9 infralevators and 68 supralevators. The methods of the urine derivation in modification of Brica, Mines, Pouch 2, and Ureter Cutanus Toma formation. Mostly we use Brica modification. Morphological structure of tumor, mostly squamous cancer, squamous uh, moderately differentiated. The slide shows uh, the cavity after the interior evisceration eviser of the minor pelvis. We can see the rectum and the lateral wall of the pelvis. Here are the total evisceration of the pelvis and patient after the interior evisceration with the resection of the lateral wall of the pelvis and prosthesis of the iliac vessels. Complications postoperatively in 53 patients, 35%. The most frequent complications uh, there were uh, purulent uh, complications, pyelonephritis, ileus, uh, uh, gaping of the cola anal anastomosis, bladder atonia. Uh, there may be a paracolostomic abscess, subcutaneous evaporation of the small bowels, uh, pneumonia, uh, myocardial infection, and pulmonary embolism. Five patients died of peritonitis and sepsis, a pulmonary embolism one and bleeding one. Since publication of the article as to evisceration of their minor pelvis since 1948, uh, their survival rate increased from 20% up to the 56%. Uh, these are our own results of our center overall survival. We followed up uh, patients for 10 years. Five years survival uh, was 30 percent. Overall survival after radical and palliative operation were in radical group higher comparing to palliative group. Overall survival when we break the patient into primary and patients with the relapses after combined treatment. In radical case and palliative operations, patients who were operated radically, they lived considerably longer. Disease-free survival in primary patients and relapsed patients uh, presented on the slide and uh, varies from uh, up to 30 percent, a bit higher. 
In conclusion, a visceration at a certain phase may be considered as the, as uh, their only modality in case of the locally advanced cervical cancer. Uh, the improvement of the surgical technique can uh, uh, allow to look differently at the problem of pelvic evisceration and to achieve favorable results, both immediate and long-term results. Of course, uh, uh, these operations are quite rare, uh, and uh, it uh, does influence uh, the results. But uh, the defining factor, and it may be one of the defining factors for mortality rate among these patients.